in a small forgotten village nestled deep within the misty, moonlit woods of Eastern Europe. The air was thick with an uneasy silence. The villagers had long whispered tales of the ancient feud between two dark, terrifying creatures, the werewolf and the vampire. On a cold, foggy night, the full moon hung ominously in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the forest. The villagers bolted their doors and shuttered their windows, praying that the horrors of the night would pass them by. They had heard the howls echoing through the trees and seen the fleeting shadows darting past their windows. In the heart of the forest stood an abandoned, crumbling castle said to be the lair of Count Vladimir, the vampire lord who had terrorized the village for centuries. The Count, with his pale skin, piercing red eyes, and a hunger for human blood, ruled the night with an iron fist. His only weakness was the light of the sun, which forced him to retreat to his coffin by dawn. However, this night was different. As the moon reached its zenith, a haunting howl pierced the air, sending shivers down the spines of those who heard it. Emerging from the depths of the forest was Lucian, the werewolf Alpha. Lucian, with his massive, fur-covered frame and glowing yellow eyes, was a creature of primal fury and unmatched strength. He had one goal in mind, to end the reign of the vampire lord once and for all. The two creatures met at the castle's entrance, their eyes locking in a moment of pure hatred and ancient rivalry. With a snarl, Lucian lunged at the Count, his claws outstretched and teeth bared. The Count, with lightning-fast reflexes, dodged the attack and countered with a swift, bone-chilling strike. The battle that ensued was a clash of titans, each strike shaking the very foundations of the castle. Lucian's ferocity and brute strength met Vladimir's speed and cunning. The air was filled with the sounds of growls, snarls, and the sickening crunch of flesh and bone. The two fought with a fury that seemed to transcend time itself. Just as it seemed the werewolf might overpower the vampire, the Count revealed a hidden weapon, a silver dagger glinting in the moonlight. Silver the one element that could wound a werewolf gleamed with deadly promise. With a swift, calculated move, the Count plunged the dagger into Lucian's side, eliciting a howl of agony from the mighty beast. But Lucian, fueled by pain and a deep-seated rage, did not relent. With a final, desperate surge of strength, he tore into the Count's chest, his claws rending through the vampire's cold, undead heart. The Count let out a blood-curdling scream as his body disintegrated into ash, scattered to the winds. Lucian, wounded but victorious, stood over the remains of his fallen foe. The first light of dawn began to break through the trees, casting a golden hue over the forest. With labored breaths, he retreated into the shadows, knowing that his battle had ended but the scars of this night would linger forever. The villagers, upon hearing of the vampire lord's demise, emerged cautiously from their homes. They found the castle in ruins, a testament to the epic battle that had taken place. Though they celebrated the end of Count Vladimir's reign, they knew the werewolf still lurked in the forest, a guardian and a menace bound to the cycle of the moon. And so, the legend of the werewolf and the vampire lived on, a chilling reminder that in the dark corners of the world, ancient evil still roam, locked in eternal conflict. <laughs>